Welcome everybody. Today we have Professor Wei Oba, who is our faculty member in our engineering program. So maybe we get started with Dr. Wei Oba introducing himself. Thank you, JR. Um, um, as you say, I'm one of the faculty of engineering um, mm -hmm. department at Penn State Duvers. Mm -hmm. Um, I have been here for 10 years mm -hmm. and before come joining Penn State, I was with Florida State University uh -huh. in Tallahassee mm -hmm. and yeah, after my doctorate program, I, I did the postdoc mm -hmm. at the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory mm -hmm. and most of the things we were doing actually was to design uh, materials mm -hmm for stronger conductors mm -hmm. because with the high field magnets mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. there are associated forces usually which subject the conductors to very high forces especially if we are dealing with what we call pass magnets mm -hmm. they end up usually those conductors uh, break mm -hmm. during the operations mm -hmm. so we have to come up with uh, better materials which are both better conductors Wonderful. as well as stronger mm -hmm. to, to resist uh, those are always forces. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and mm -hmm. during that time, that's when I received, mm -hmm. okay, actually not received, but uh, I saw an advertisement mm -hmm. of the position up, up over here uh, for the engineering positions. Mm -hmm. And of course, they talked about polymerology. In this case, at that time, I was not working on any area of polymerology. Oh. I was much more and more of a mm -hmm. Uh, physical metallurgy. Um, we were designing materials using most of those uh, route mm -hmm. materials, mm -hmm. high conductive copper alloys, mm -hmm. but none of those are uh, mm -hmm. PM uh, mm -hmm. process materials. Mm -hmm. So to me, it was something new. And Great. I always like to, to be challenged, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to engage on something new, mm -hmm. and especially just to see how I can apply my knowledge in terms of the product, I mean, the physical metallurgy and product mm -hmm. uh, metallurgy. Mm -hmm. And that's how he, I was able to be attracted to come up over here. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been here? Oh, this is my <laughs> 12 years since I joined. Oh my gosh, long years. time. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a long time, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty yes. sure you're enjoying your ride. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, to me, yeah. uh, it was a, a, a good change, mm -hmm. uh, a good opportunity, mm -hmm. because um, mm -hmm. I came to a place where mm -hmm. we value students. Mm -hmm. The entire uh, campus right. is like a, yeah. a family mm -hmm. uh, oriented. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows the other, we care for each other, we care for our students. Mm -hmm. And it's a very good uh, working environment in my right. case. Right. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. sure over the years, you definitely develop more love for you know, all the things going on at our campus, but especially, I would say, our engineering program, right? So what is so special about our engineering program? Tell us a little bit more about our engineering program. Yeah, I mean, this program is actually very unique in such a way. Mm -hmm. um, I like mm -hmm. the interactions between the students, the faculty, the staff mm -hmm. and the community, especially for the our industry partners, mm -hmm. the local industries. Mm -hmm. There's a very strong relation interactions where students got the opportunity to work right. mm -hmm. with projects mm -hmm. which are industry based, mm -hmm. right from their freshman, mm -hmm. some of sophomore. They don't have to wait for to be the, in that senior year for them to be working on a senior design project. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are, have a project which is industry based mm -hmm. right from their freshman. Mm -hmm. This is very unique, mm -hmm. very, very unique. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, when I came up over here with a small campus, I couldn't believe the, the facilities right. which are available for the students. I mean, the students can go and learn how to use the CNC, learn how to use the compaction presses. Mm -hmm. I mean, are they actually using hands-on applications right from their freshman and sophomore? Well, what does uh, CNC stand for? Oh, that is computer numerically controlled machines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, everything is controlled by yeah. numerical controls. So, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, students 
learn how to write their, I mean, coding, and then from there they can communicate with the machines mm -hmm. uh, through the computers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, you just started talking about all this uh, state-of-the-art type of equipment, and we actually have a showcase right behind us. Maybe, can you tell us a little bit more about the equipment? Absolutely. Yeah. So the, the equipment, equipment behind us is what we call scanning electron microscopy. Mm -hmm. It's equipment which allows you to investigate, to, mm -hmm. to probe mm -hmm. material properties, especially the morphology of the materials, mm -hmm. the structure of the materials, mm -hmm. the microstructure, the phases, mm -hmm. the compositions. Mm -hmm. It's a very, what you call, high resolution mm -hmm. compared to mm -hmm. something which you can mm -hmm. get from the optical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with the optical, you because it's limited in terms of the wavelengths of uh, mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. uh, your white, I mean, light uh, compared to the electrons mm -hmm. where they have a very fine uh, wavelengths, mm -hmm. they will give you a very high resolution in terms of the microstructure. Mm -hmm. So you can be able to see, I mean, get the information of the structure at a very high resolution oh to understand yeah. how is the mark, uh, what is the phases in the materials, what is the, uh, in terms of the grain mm -hmm. sizes, what phases are present. Mm -hmm. What a type of uh, maybe grain boundaries you have. Mm -hmm. In the case of the polymerology, we also study all kind of the morphology of the porosity, the pores which are in, in, in the materials. Right. So the materials properties are affected by the structure. Right. So that's why we always say we need to understand mm -hmm. the relationship between the structure of the material, mm -hmm. the properties of the material, mm -hmm. the process, how they were processed, and the application. So you can link those four oh, things yeah. Yeah. where you can tailor made, you can change yeah. the structure mm -hmm. of the material to either meet the applications right. or to meet mm -hmm. the intended properties mm -hmm. which you want mm -hmm. in terms of the service mm -hmm. uh, requirements. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How common is it for a campus to have a piece of equipment like ours, what we have here. It's absolutely <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. As I say, yeah, this yeah. is it's a, it's a small yeah. campus to have this kind of equipment, uh -huh. which is accessible by the uh -huh. student at any time, at all levels, yeah. is a very wonderful tool for teaching yeah. the students. I mean, we train our students up over here, and that's why we say by mm -hmm. the time they are done with their full year mm -hmm. of engineering, they are ready to go to the industries. Mm -hmm. They are ready to go to grad school right. because they mm -hmm. have hands-on mm -hmm. experiences, Wonderful. opportunities right from their freshman. Mm -hmm. So students up over here, once they are done, they can go in the industries and they can actually be part of the material development, Wonderful. new materials, mm -hmm. or even a finding new applications mm -hmm. of these materials mm -hmm. because they can go, they can probe, they can investigate the structures of the materials and they can correlate, they can relate in terms of what are the properties right. the customer, mm -hmm. the client is looking for. How can we change this material mm -hmm. to meet the customer's requirement? Mm -hmm. This is a very fundamental as in, uh, our, in education. So the students, they have plenty of opportunities to use this equipment. Oh, yes. Right? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. This is not only, <laughs> I mean, it's, as I say, it's unique. Mm -hmm. It's available to the students. Mm -hmm. Of course, we are so also open to the industry. That's why we say we, right, we have a very right. good yeah. symbiotic yeah. relationship mm -hmm. with the industries. Mm -hmm. The industries mm -hmm. can come up over here and use mm -hmm. the equipment. And it's a very expensive equipment. Yeah. So you, most of, very few industries actually have this kind of an equipment. So it's scanning electron microscope. microscope. Yeah. Okay. Scanning yeah. electron yeah. microscope. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Using the electron beam, mm -hmm. okay, to probe mm -hmm. the structure of the materials. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Very good. What is the resolution? Just curious. Oh, you can go yeah. in the actually, in the, in the, <laughs> of course. It's, there are so many parameters which yeah, you yeah, is, uh, uh, yeah. it depends on the voltage, okay, accelerating yeah, voltage yeah, and yeah. everything. It also depends in terms of the apertures which you use, but you can get in terms of something like even maybe into one micron or in sub microns. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 So you can go up to, I mean, uh, if, if up to maybe 100. Um, uh -huh. 
one hundredth of um, let's say zero point one of microns. So is it at the level of like molecules and those types of things? Uh, yeah. not yet at that yeah. level. Yeah. yeah, but we are talking in terms of right. zero yeah. point five, yeah. zero point six microns. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean it's sub microns. Yeah. Getting there. So it's less. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course, to achieve in terms of the atomic uh, yeah. the scale. Yeah. We need what we call transmission electron ah, microscopy. Yeah, nice. with the transmission electron microscopy, yeah. then we can go in terms of the nano scales, yeah, yeah. and we can be able to plug yeah. atomic wonderful. structures. Yeah, yeah. We mm -hmm. just talked about our relationships with the industry yes. and how they establish these types of relationships. From the pretty much very beginning of their curriculum, we have you know, projects going on with these industry companies. So that makes me wonder, what is our placement rate? Oh, <laughs> I'm so proud to let you know, yeah. since our first batch yeah. of students, which was 2014, yeah. we have 100% uh -huh. placement. 100%? Yes, since wow. then. Because as I told you, the yeah. experience our students are getting, wow. okay? Yeah. They, get i mean they get offers uh -huh. from the industries in their junior year so wow. most of the time most of them by the time they are in the senior year mm -hmm. they actually have some offers in Wonderful. the industries mm -hmm. and you know the most important tool or mm -hmm. con conduit mm -hmm. of the employment mm -hmm. is the conferences where we also take them oh, every yeah. year we take them to yeah. what we call coda net metal coda met conference mm -hmm. is actually coda met for the metallurgy and particulate mm -hmm. materials mm -hmm. um, conference. Mm -hmm. It is an international conference. Mm -hmm. And now it's actually is combining not only powder metallurgy, it's also additive manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So you have additive manufacturing and powder metallurgy mm -hmm. together. Great. In a, oh, yes. Yeah. It's attracting mm -hmm. a number of international scientists mm -hmm. and professionals who are coming to present, to share their ideas, to share their results. And That's this great. is a wonderful opportunity where we usually take our students mm -hmm. to attend those conferences. Mm -hmm. And actually, because of that, yeah. companies hear from mm -hmm. our students. Mm -hmm. They sometimes do not even believe those are undergraduates. <laughs> they think they are graduate students. Mm -hmm. And we say, no, those are undergraduate oh, students. Yeah, that and that's why they actually mm -hmm. come up over here looking mm -hmm. for our students. Mm -hmm. I will tell you one story where at one sure. point, mm -hmm. a company in Chicago, oh. a company in yeah. Chicago came yeah. up over here oh, wow. looking for our yeah. students. Uh -huh. They came to recruit our students. Wow. And when we ask them why, yeah. they say it's because of what we had your right. student presenting oh. yeah. at the Porter Met conference. Oh, I see. It's unbelievable. So yeah. the, the conference actually gives great exposure, of oh, course, yes. to our students. Exactly. Yes, yes. And it's also part of your undergraduate research program. Absolutely, right? yes. Because in order for them to be able to get up to that level, yes, as yes. a researcher, they definitely need some significant training. Very much. Very and that's much. what you're providing. Exactly. Right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. I mean, we wanted to make sure that our students also be able to get exposure, mm -hmm. the international exposure, mm -hmm. where they meet, mm -hmm. okay, not mm -hmm. only the professionals, mm -hmm. other students, mm -hmm. so that they can learn, they can relate. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this is where they, from the company, so many, several times, I usually get their feedback from the, uh, from the conferences, mm -hmm. and they say, thank you, Doubt, for taking us to the conferences, mm -hmm. because I can see why you have been stressing me or oh, push, yeah. pushing me. Yeah to do this because they were actually doing most of the things I was <laughs> doing, the, the same methodology we are using. Yeah. Right, exactly. And say, yes, yeah. that's yeah. how, I mean, yeah. when you go over there, you share your results, right. you also hear what others are doing, right. and they give you an idea, mm -hmm. oh, maybe I need to change, I need to use those conditions, I need to use this tool, mm -hmm. I need to use this process, mm -hmm. I will get a better results. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good exposure yeah. way of to it. Undergraduate Suppose. research yep. is also expensive. It's expensive. I, I know yep. you also recently received some funding from the National Science Foundation. Yes, yes. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Too. Yeah, okay. as you say, I mean, in mm -hmm. undergraduate research is also expensive, very expensive, yeah. Yeah. because uh, I mean, um, mm -hmm. as you say, we are lucky to have these tools up over here available mm -hmm. for the students. Mm -hmm. 
Now with National Science Foundation, not only the National Science Foundation, we also have the mm -hmm. uh, PA, Manufacturing Innovation Grant, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. which also, yes, in the grants, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. it does, I mean, it offers students opportunity mm -hmm. for the students to work in the project. Mm -hmm. So both of those are ones of the uh, funding opportunities which we use mm -hmm. to recruit students to mm -hmm. undergraduate mm -hmm. uh, research. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. We train them again mm -hmm. um, to all, all the tools we have mm -hmm. in what, how to investigate the material, how mm -hmm. to do research, mm -hmm. how, what, what is the importance of uh, making sure that you go through the literature review to understand what others have done, right. what others problems they might have mm -hmm. found so that you don't want to duplicate the same mistakes sure. they have done or the same problem they right. are facing. Mm -hmm. So doing this, students, they understand the, the most important way that, all right, I needed to make sure that I research, I do, mm -hmm. a, I mean, mm -hmm. deep research to understand the problem before I can jump into solving the problem because I might be solving with using the wrong tools, the wrong, the wrong procedure, uh, but if they go through the literature review, they can find out what other they found and avoid to, to follow course, the same yeah, mistakes. Yeah. yeah. So with, with this all kind of training yeah. out there, yes. where do they go? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, what do we have find most of the students, is, uh -huh. um, I mean, the majority of the uh -huh. students who do undergraduate uh -huh. research, uh -huh. they usually are motivated to continue in their grad school. I see. So we are now seeing uh -huh. more and more of our undergraduate students who are now I mean, not only wishing they go and join graduate school. Mm -hmm. So this is a very good way of here. Yeah, and actually statistics show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's undergraduate students usually. Mm -hmm. It's one way or, or a tool where you can build yeah. students, yeah. okay, ready, I mean, readiness mm -hmm. for their graduate mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. programs. So that's what we have been seeing. And we are, mm -hmm. we are so happy to yeah. see our students yeah. going to grad school. Yeah because of the yeah. undergraduate uh, so research. there are students with the undergraduate research training who are going to grad schools but there are plenty of students out there also joining the industry yeah. immediately Absolutely. after yeah. graduation exactly yes yes mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. uh, so we have those who prefer to go to mm -hmm. industries mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and actually some of uh, <laughs> our best students some some of them we try to push them to go for grad school and say, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is where I love. I want to go to the industries. I want to go to work into the industries. And I say, you know what? It's also good. You go there, you get an experience. And who knows, you may come back to your grad school once you now know more deep depth information in terms of from the industries. When you come back to your grad school, you will have a focus. You will have a particular areas which you like to work in your grad school. So that's also... We also, yeah. we are okay for those who want to go to uh, yeah. uh, industry and right. those who want to go to grad school. So yeah. we have two-year mechanical engineering technology program at Penn State Dubois, as well as four-year general engineering program, but focusing on? Applied materials. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, in the engineering program, we have it has several mm -hmm. opportunities. I mean, options for the mm -hmm. students. Mm -hmm. So we have, when they're coming up over here as freshmen, they can stay, mm -hmm. okay, for the, uh, the associate degree, the two year mechanical engineering technology. Mm -hmm. It's only for two years. Mm -hmm. They can stay in the campus for four years, which is now what we call BS engineering applied material for four mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. right over here. Or they can also do what we call two plus two. Is that meaning they can stay here for two years, mm -hmm. okay, and then mm -hmm. choose other majors, for example, mechanical engineering, mm -hmm. uh, uh, aerospace engineering, right. electrical engineering, mm -hmm. civil engineering. Mm -hmm. In that case, they can move to another. Remember, we have 24 campuses. Exactly. Benches. This mm -hmm. is unique, unique in terms of uh, this, is this an institution of uh, it's, it's, it's really, as we say, okay, one universe, okay, geographically dispersed. It's exactly. unbelievable. 24 <laughs> uh, <laughs> campuses around the Pennsylvania state. 
So, so as a two plus two, they mm -hmm. can go to any other campuses which has the program for mechanical mm -hmm. engineering. They can go to Erie, mm -hmm. they can go to Harrisburg, mm -hmm. aerospace engineering, they have to go to University right, Park. Right, right, right. Yeah. So basically they have all these engineering options. They have all the options for them. Yeah. They can start at Penn State Du Bois, they can decide to stay, they can move on to another campus. So many options and choices. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. all this is tailor made in such a way mm -hmm. that those students who like to stay mm -hmm. at the smaller campuses mm -hmm. and that those students who want to go to mm -hmm. For example, get an exposure of uh, the big mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. University Park, mm -hmm. of course, which is a completely dynamics, is a mm -hmm. complete dynamics from the small campuses. Mm -hmm. And you find, so you have, they have options whether mm -hmm. to stay here or to go to University Park. Sure. Yeah. Wonderful. Which is very nice because these are those students who mm -hmm. really don't, mm -hmm. they perform well when they stay at the smaller mm -hmm. campuses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Yeah. As mm -hmm. our final, conversation, I want to maybe ask you this question, which is, what is the best way to learn about our program or any Penn State engineering majors? Do they have a chance to come to our campus and check oh, yes. it out? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Of course, they have the option to uh -huh. learn all this from uh -huh. our website. Yeah. Okay. They have options to visit the campus. We right. have visitations every semester, mm -hmm. every semester. We have more than one visitation mm -hmm. where they can come up over here, mm -hmm. okay? You don't have to be at a local camp, I mean, uh, 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 living uh, closer by. You can even be from out of state. They mm -hmm. can usually come up over here to learn more about the program mm -hmm. before they can, they can join. Mm -hmm. So those visitations are available for any student mm -hmm. in state and out of state. Mm -hmm. They can come up over here and learn. And also, we also have uh, connections with our local mm -hmm. uh, high schools and middle schools mm -hmm. uh, where students, okay, mm -hmm. they can visit our campus at any time, mm -hmm. okay. And we are also ready as faculty to visit those schools at any time and talk to the students. So we are available at any time. We, we, I mean, we can accept any invitation to visit any high school or middle school to talk to the students about our programs. Wonderful. So yeah. Very accessible. Very accessible. Very accessible. 100%. At any time. 100%. <laughs> but be careful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, but thank you so much again for spending some time with me today. It, it's been lots of fun and it's been my pleasure. Oh, this is a I'm very happy. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to talk about the program. To, I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's, as I say, it's a wonderful program. Mm -hmm. Students get the opportunity for its hands on experience right from their freshman and, and sophomore opportunities. Yeah. And by the time they are junior and senior years, they have offered from the industries because we have this industry connection, mm -hmm. acad uh, academia industry connections, where the industries, they mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. see our students, okay, mm -hmm. in the conferences, working with their pro project mm -hmm. by the time they are in the junior and senior year, mm -hmm. they actually employ them even before they graduate. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you again. Thank you very much. I appreciate it very much.